Hi there, my name is Spencer Hawes, creator of Longtail Pro, and today I want to show you how to use Longtail Pro to conduct powerful keyword research and in-depth competitor analysis so that you can start finding those truly low competition keywords that you can rank for quickly in Google. So first, let's just start by finding some keywords. You can come in here and just create a brand new project. So we'll just call this uh, version 3 for version 3 of the software create your project and then this window uh, you can either click find keywords or just start immediately inputting your seed keywords here and so I'll just input some random seed keywords so safety razor and what's great about the fact that you can input multiple seed keywords at once is that you can do a lot more keyword research much faster Once you've input your seed keywords, you can do lots of things like including certain words. So let's say you want to see keywords that include the word best or exclude keywords, uh, whatever that might be that you do not want to see. So you can do that for each of your keywords individually. And then you can customize your data and pre-filter that. So you can also filter after you've generated keywords. But if you already know that you only want to see keywords that have a suggested bid of 25 cents or more you can input that there or if you only want to see keywords that have a 500 search volume or more you input that there as well you can do number of words so if you only want to see those really long tail keywords you can input three or four here let's just do three to start you can search global search volume input your criteria that you want to see as well you can check for domain availability so if the exact match domains are available for the .com, .net, .org, you can see all the options here. You can do that. And other things like Google Title Competition and Bing Title Competition. And again, you can do that right from the beginning or you can do it after. So let's just go with these. I've got uh, five seed keywords here. I can do, or I've got six actually, you can do more than that. But then you just hit Generate Keywords and Fetch Data. Now, what that does is it takes each seed keyword and it will generate up to 800 suggested results based on those seed keywords. Uh, this first one's going to be a lot less because we only wanted to see keywords that included the word best. But our next one here, pocket knives, that's going to generate much more, uh, probably close to 800. So as you can see, it looks like 566. Uh, then it's going to go through and do each of these individually. And so that's getting all the top keywords that Google suggests. But this pulls in the suggested bid, the local search volume, the advertiser competition, and number of words. And again, we can get more than that as well. So after just about a minute there, we've got almost 3,000 generated keywords just based on these six seed keywords. And then we can dive in and start doing all sorts of research. One thing that I want to point out is the real-time filtering. So instead of 25 cents, let's say I want to go up to $1. You can see that as I type that in, that's filtering all of those out, so we're left with 182. If I want to dive even deeper, and I only want to see higher search volume, let's say 1,500, that's going to, as I type, filter out all those keywords that don't have at least 1,500 searches per month, and now I'm left with only 84 keywords. But then you can go even further and say, well, I know that longer keyword phrases are usually lower competition, so I'm going to type in a four here. And now I'm left with only 30 keywords that match the criteria that I'm looking for. You can even do it based on words. So if the word review is in there, it's not. But if the word best is, which I know for sure, now you're left with you know, I can almost guarantee that you're going to find several winners here just right off the bat that's got a great keyword modifier with best, has great suggested bid, high search volume, and has four keywords. So it's probably going to be low competition. And I'm going to show you here in just a second. We can determine if these really are low competition. But if let's say that you want to go back and fetch some additional data. You click this blue icon over here on the right. And we didn't fetch global searches to start, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll do global searches and then domain availability. Let's do that as well. So you click those, then you just click on this yellow 
um, notification here. Click the Fetch button, and that's going to go out and get the global search volume uh, for these keywords that we've selected. And then you can do the same thing for domain avail availability. Let's say I want the .NET and .org, and I just select that. And that's going to go out and immediately tell me, are the exact match domains available for these keywords? And so I can see that there are a few here. The ones in the blue are available. The ones in the red are not. And just depending on how you like to work, you can come back over here to this icon. And you can uncheck boxes if you want more workspace or add additional boxes. You can just keep it however you want to show the data that uh, you want to see to make a decision. Now, the next step is competitor analysis. Now, the best way to know if you can rank in Google is to actually look at the top 10 results in Google. And so Longtail Pro makes it very easy to analyze the keywords that you want to analyze. So let's just click on this keyword. That's going to immediately open up. It pulls in the top 10 results in Google. It bolts the keyword in the title of the page so that you know if they're really targeting this keyword very well. That's a big indicator. If they're not using the exact phrase of best safety razor blades, there's probably some weakness there. So as you can see, there's the stats that you would need to analyze in order to make a determination of whether or not you can rank in Google quickly for this keyword. There's things like the page authority, the number of links pointing to the page, juice page links, domain authority, and all these other things, page rank and site age to make a determination. I'm going to just give you a couple of tips here really quick. Number one, like I mentioned, if the keyword is not in the title of the page, as I can see there's a couple of results that don't have the exact keyword, that's a sign of weakness. Another sign of weakness is if there's low juice page links. I usually look at, you know, if there's under 30 juice page links on a few of the results, that might be a sign of weakness, which the, that is the case here. Another important one here is the page authority. I like to see, again, results that have a page authority of under 30. Uh, if the one shows up, that really just means that Moz has not assigned a page authority for that. Maybe it's a newer domain or just a very weak page. So look at the domain authority in that case to see how powerful the domain is overall. So in this case, we've got lots of results with page authority under 30, even when looking at the domain authority for these ones. Uh, that are here. And then finally, I like to look at site age. If I can see a couple of sites that are maybe under a year, that's a sign of weakness. And then just to confirm all of my results, you can dive deeper and look at are there actually some affiliate sites or small sites that I can replicate? If the first page of Google is not dominated with large authoritative sites, like I can see here, you know, there's looks like a small review site. Um, some of these others are probably smaller affiliate sites, and you can just click on the URL to find that out. Then you can you can make the determination that well, I can rank as well if there's these weaker types of pages that are ranking already. So I would definitely target best safety razor blades as a topic or to build a website around. This is something that you could probably pretty quickly rank in Google for. So just in this video, I showed you a lot of tips uh, using the word best to filter, to using longer keyword uh, phrases by filtering in the words. Longtail Pro makes that very, very easily to do. You can do that rapidly. So taking a list of 3,000 keywords, I immediately filtered that down to the best of the best and on my first try, I found a great keyword that I should be targeting. I could do that over and over again with all sorts of sets of different keywords. Now, the final feature that I do want to show you in Longtail Pro is the Rank Checker. The Rank Checker here is very easy to use. You just input your domain name. I'll put nichepursuits.com. Then you input the term that you want to see where you rank for in Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Uh, you just click the Add button and then hit Check Ranks. And as you can see, I've already got lots of other keywords here that I'm tracking. As the, that goes through and checks, those start to populate, as you can see. It's doing right now very quickly. 
So now just in a matter of seconds, I can see that I rank fairly well for several keywords in Google, Yahoo, and Bing. And you can do that for lots of your websites. There really is no limit there. So overall, you can see that Longtail Pro really is a powerful way to conduct keyword research and to do in-depth competitor analysis, giving you all the information you need to determine whether you should target a keyword or not. This software is very powerful, it's easy to use, and most importantly, it's effective. So I hope you will take me up on the offer below. This is a special limited offer. So go ahead and get started using Longtail Pro today. Thank you very much.